Hello and welcome to Fix Home Network. In this video, I will show you how to set up Linksys WRT160N wireless router. The Linksys WRT160N router setup is very easy and you can do it yourself. This old Linksys wireless N router setup is now out of warranty. Out of warranty does not mean that it is not working. It may still be in a working condition and you just need few steps to make it working. First of all this is very old Linksys wireless N router so I believe that you are not setting it up for the first time. It might have stopped working or there may be connection issues. I will show you the steps to set up this wireless router. If you are not able to fix the router, then you may need a new wireless router. Because this router is very old and not supported anymore. If you are looking for a new wireless router, then check the description box of this video for new best Linksys wireless routers. You will see links in the description box. First of all check the status of the power light on your router. If the power light is solid, then this router can be repaired. If the power light is blinking on Linksys WRT160N router then you need to reset the router and reconfigure it from scratch. In case of blinking power light, press and hold the reset button for 30 seconds. Release the reset button and wait for 10 seconds. Now unplug the power cable and wait for 30 seconds. Plug in the power cable and wait for 30 seconds. See if the power light becomes stable on the router. If it is stable then we can start with the setup process. If the power light is still blinking, then repeat the reset process. If still not working then you will need a new wireless router. This router is not working anymore. Let's start with the setup process. Step 1. Check the internet connection. If you are not able to access internet on all the devices or computers then make sure that you have internet through the modem. Connect the main computer directly to the internet service provider's modem and try to access the internet through only modem. If it is not working directly through modem, then you must need to get in touch with your internet service provider and get the internet fixed through modem. Step 2. Check connections to the router. Once you are sure that internet is working properly through modem, then check the connection between modem, router, and computer. Here is the image to describe the Linksys WRT160N router connections. Modem is connected to internet or WAN port on Linksys WRT160N router. Computer connected to any one of the four local Ethernet ports of the router, port 1, 2, 3, or 4. Step 3. Open the Linksys WRT160N setup page. Open internet browser such as Firefox, Chrome, Safari. In the address bar type the number 192.168.1.1. This is the default IP address of Linksys WRT160N wireless router. It will ask you for username and password. The default username would be admin. The default Linksys WRT160N router password is admin. If this default username and password is not working, then you will need to reset the router to factory default settings as explained before. This will lead into reconfiguring it from the scratch. Once you enter the username and password, you will be on the setup page of the router. Step 4. Make internet connection settings. Linksys WRT160N supports two types of internet services, cable and DSL. Internet connection settings for cable ISP. On the basic setup page, internet connection settings must be set to automatic configuration DHCP. Click on MAC Address Clone sub tab. Enable MAC Address Clone and click on Clone My PC's MAC. Click Save Settings at the bottom. Now power cycle the network. Unplug power to the router and modem. Wait for 10 seconds. First plug in the power to the modem only. Wait for 10 seconds. Now plug in the power to Linksys WRT160N router. Wait for 30 seconds. Now try to access internet on the main computer which is connected the router. Internet connection settings for DSL ISP. On the basic setup page, change internet connection settings to PPPoE. Type in the username and password given by your internet service provider. Click Save Settings at the bottom. Now try to access the internet on the main computer which is connected to the router. Step 5. Wireless Network Settings. Once your main computer is able to access the internet, then you can change the wireless settings. 
Go to Wireless tab. Change the wireless network name SSID. This will be the name of your wireless network. Save the settings. Click on Wireless Security subtab. Change the security mode to WPA Personal. Enter the security password for your wireless network. This will be the password to connect to the wireless network. Click Save Settings. Do not share your wireless network password. Step 6. Connect to the wireless network. Once your wireless network is ready, try to connect to the Wi-Fi on the laptop or other Wi-Fi devices. You will see the SSID. Your Wi-Fi network name. Enter the network WPA key or password and connect. Once you are able to access internet on wired and wireless computer, your Linksys WRT160 in router is working properly. For more troubleshooting steps, please visit my website www.fixhomenetwork.com. That's it for now. Thank you for watching video.